Welcome to the University of Cincinnati Internal Medicine Residency Patient-Centered Rounds tutorial entitled, Reviewing the Assessment and Plan at the Bedside. After this presentation, the medical team should be able to engage the patient directly when reviewing the assessment and plan, frame the teachable moment for the learners and patient, and simultaneously assess the learner's ability to process information and explain it to the patient. All right, Mrs. Pink, so now let's talk a little bit about um, uh, what your plan is going to be for today, okay? So, Dr. Russ? Okay. So, Ms. Pink, for your asthma exacerbation, we're going to continue doing the breathing treatments uh, every couple of hours and, and hopefully kind of decrease the amount that you have to get during a day as you continue to get better. And then at the same time, we're going to be giving you um, a pill that are steroids and giving you those once a day, and it's going to be a dose of 60 milligrams of a drug called prednisone. Do you, do you mind if we just talk a little bit of doctor here for a moment? Okay, and then we'll come back and explain it to you, all right? Um, so, uh, Dr. Uh, Rust, do you have any, um, do you know about the debate about uh, the amount of steroids that are needed in a patient that comes in with asthma? Have you heard anything about this? I guess I, I'm unsure. I know sometimes we do 60, sometimes we do 40. Okay, have had a different experience with different docs. Does anybody um, know kind of what uh, what the recent studies have shown about that? Yeah, actually, I've read there's been several randomized control trials that look at uh, 40 milligrams for 60 milligrams of prednisone, and they actually didn't find any difference in um, dose with respect to resolution of symptoms, but the 60 milligram dose of prednisone had higher side effects like hypertrophy. Which, which may be a particular concern in our patients since she is a diabetic. Okay. Um, so, so I had, I had another question because I, you know, I've seen this done different ways in terms of length of the steroids, and I know that for COPD patients, you're supposed to do two weeks. And I don't, when I last looked at, when I was looking at this, I was I looked up a, there was a review article, there was a Cochrane review that kind of looked at length of steroids in, this, in this, at least in COPD exacerbations, they were talking about the use of steroids for at least 14 days um, in order not only to prevent, uh, not only for resolution of symptoms, but also to prevent um, recurrence as well as rehospitalization. But right. I'm not sure if that's true for asthma. So that Cochrane review was specifically looking at COPD patients, and in, in patients with asthma, it's actually um, been shown in other studies that um, five days is probably sufficient for patients with asthma. And those study those patients with COPD then need a longer taper, a longer course of treatment. Okay. Um, so, Dr. Russ, given all this that we've talked about, um, what, are, what are just going to be your plan? Do you want to explain this to the patient? Yeah. So, Ms. Pink, so kind of given what everyone has said, it looks like when comparing a higher dose of steroids like the 60 milligrams versus 40 milligrams, that there's really no benefit between going to the higher dose and might even worsen your blood sugars. And so, that's why I think we should go with just the 40. So, we'll decrease the dose on that if we can put in the order sure. to decrease your steroids to 40. And then, um, the other part of it is how long are we going to have you on the steroids? And it looks like because asthma is your primary problem, that we only need to have you on it for five days as opposed to a longer course. So we'll just do the 40 milligrams for five days. Okay. Okay. And then, um, and then so your next problem um, will be um, is the, your diabetes. Mm -hmm. And so we'll continue you on your home dose of Lantus, but because we have you on the steroids and that can affect your blood sugars, we'll keep a close eye on those while you're here in the hospital too. When conducting bedside rounds, successful teams engage the patient directly when reviewing the assessment and plan, frame the teachable moment for the learners and patient, and simultaneously assess the learner's ability to process information and explain it to the patient. We hope you have learned something from our presentation on reviewing the assessment and plan at the bedside. Please visit our other video tutorials using the search word UCINTMED.